Makeshift's March 2022 issue is entitled Swappertunities. It's about how you can get people talking with barter-based initiatives. And as usual, anytime we mention facts, figures, reports, and innovations, we'll make sure to link them in the written report. While this simple act of bartering, whether with livestock in the Middle Ages or friendly favours as per Japan's time bank system, is a concept as old as time, it hasn't quite permeated late capitalist society yet. As C2C e-commerce platforms gain traction, consumers looking to adopt more purposed purchasing behaviours will start turning their assets into currency by trading both skills and stuff. So why now? When the chips are down, people look inwards. In 2021, as the umpteenth wave of COVID-19 swept the globe, a third of global consumers agreed their local community had become more supportive. And while the pandemic seems to be nearing its end, environmental crises and geopolitical conflict continue to feed a sense of disruption. Read supply chain issues, power outages, labor shortages, and more, which in turn strengthens that local first mindset. Amid the chaos, capitalist notions of ownership continue to be reconsidered, especially among younger consumers. We're seeing capitalist fatigue manifest in social-leaning subreddits, alternative approaches to work, think side hustles or four-day weeks, and an interest in self-sufficient lifestyles, not to mention the sharing economy, which is estimated to rise in value from $14 billion in 2014 to $335 billion in 2025 fertile conditions for swap opportunities to prosper. This value shift includes a new appreciation for secondhand, spearheaded by a thriving fashion resale market, which grew by 69% between 2019 and 2022. The appeal is threefold. Consumers want unique items their peers can't find elsewhere, they want eco-kudos for shopping sustainably, and they want to save money. As more C2C e-commerce platforms emerge, and taboos surrounding secondhand decline prepare for a thrifting boom, one with reverberations across industries. Now let's take a look at some of the innovations that show swap opportunities playing out around the globe. Gabriele Lamonaca started Unregular Pizza as an Instagram account mid-lockdown, inviting friends to proffer their homemade food for his Italian pie. As word and pizza spread, others started reaching out for a slice, and in June 2021, Lamonaca opened his first standalone restaurant in New York. While most people pay in cash, Unregular Pizza still engages in one barter a day, reserved for the most delicious looking customer made dish. Now let's take a look at a skill sharing platform that helps alleviate the pandemic's impact. Having been made redundant mid pandemic, in April 2021, a group of volunteers in Brazil came together to form the digital platform Conta Comigo. Users can list their products or services anything from professional consultations to Pilates classes, and seek out others with relevant skills or items too. The founders of Contact Amigo, which roughly translates as Count On Me, refer to the platform as a solidarity marketplace. Now here's a bartering network that removes funding obstacles for black entrepreneurs. Did you know that black entrepreneurs are more likely to seek, but less likely to receive outside funding? In February 2022, Barter Black launched in the US, an exclusive virtual community where black entrepreneurs can exchange their goods or services through a simple bartering system. Business owners pick one of three subscription options, ranging from $49 US to $99 per month, with each option offering different levels of access to the company's network. Now onto a plant swap party that brings green-fingered citizens together. In November 2021, Uplan Amsterdam assembled the city's green-fingered plant lovers for a swap party. Consumers were invited to bring along their own cuttings or fully grown plants and exchange them for new additions to their collections. The invitation came with a few instructions. Each plant needed to be healthy, labelled and well-rooted, with the exception of succulents. With those criteria fulfilled, guests were free to enjoy the party. Now let's take a look at a hotel that offers free stay in exchange for Northern Lights photos. Rather than dip directly into its marketing budget, in August 2021, Hotel Ranga in Iceland announced it would be offering a complimentary stay for photographers willing to snap some website-ready shots of the hotel's impressive surroundings during the Northern Lights season. The chosen photographer 
received free return flights to Iceland, a month's accommodation at the hotel, and unlimited access to its observatory and hot tubs. Our final example comes from a fashion app that helps consumers swap clothes with friends. Loop Digital Wardrobe is on a mission to minimize fashion waste. First, app users digitize their wardrobes by uploading photos of each garment. Then, they browse and request swaps from their friends' collections. Some retail partners also offer peer-to-peer -peer upselling, allowing customers to trade branded items with fellow customers via the app. Launched in February 2022, the US-based company was created by the founder of sustainability solutions provider Yellow Octopus. Let's move on to some of the opportunities that Swapportunities presents you as a business. Firstly, start with barter baby steps. Disclaimer, while TikTokers might be trading bobby pins for entire houses and racking up 5 million followers in the process, we aren't suggesting you chuck your current business model out the window. Instead, consider how barter systems can coexist alongside or can add to what you're already doing. That might mean phasing Swapportunities into your in-store experience either fully like hyperburgers or through dedicated bartering hours, or weave them into a marketing campaign that shows Gen Z consumers your finger is firmly on the pulse. Swapportunity's greatest potential lies in community building. So instead of manufacturing more stuff, can you create meaningful connections by launching a barter experience? Either invite budding hobbyists to trade their wares like at Uplant Amsterdam swap party, or set up a digital platform where loyal followers can get a pre-loved goodie from your brand's back catalog. The French fashion brand Camayou's Yo-Yo policy allows consumers to trade their worn garments for a different size. Could you blend this concept with Loop's business model and use tech to facilitate direct C2C exchanges? Or take a more exclusive approach. In Unregular Pizza's early days, the barter system created scarcity, which contributed to the brand's notoriety. We know consumers enjoy products and services that are one of a kind. The purchasing journey, the story surrounding an item's acquisition, is a more powerful indicator of value than price. Forget the endorphin rush of finding a rare secondhand gem. Could you give consumers a status story they can share with friends by offering a collection of items that can only be acquired by bartering with personal skills or expertise? Before we go, we'd like to leave you with five ways to start embracing swap opportunities today. And as we said before, anytime we mention facts, figures, reports, and innovation, we'll make sure to link them in the written report. Firstly, scope out your brand's local swap scene. Download the Buy Nothing app to see which assets and how frequently consumers in your neighborhood are trading. Next, wondering how swap opportunities intersect with virtual currencies? Token Warp increases the liquidity of digital tokens, opening up the possibility for virtual bartering. And before launching your consumer-facing initiative, why not try bartering your brand's untapped resources? BarterPay is a Canada-based platform which lets you do just that. And try developing a bartering experience of your own by using our Consumer Trend Canvas, a one-page tool for turning inspiration into innovations. And finally, gauge the temperature of current anti-capitalist sentiments by tracking updates to the hugely popular r anti-consumption subreddit feed. And if you want to get even more of our trend-watching insights, head to trendwatching.com to sign up for all of our free trend updates.